After four hours flight, we finally arrived to Tenerife. After quick check-in, uh, the staff told us that there is a food waiting for us in a restaurant. It was a selection of cold plains, uh, but we were so grateful because we were worried, what are we going to eat? Are we going to be hungry? And yes, it was 12, around 12 o'clock at night and we were starving. So there was a selection of, kind of cheeses and fruit. And as you can see, there's loads there and there was just plenty to choose from. We had the whole restaurants to ourselves. GF Isabel has two types of accommodation. So you can choose either bungalow and I think then you have a little kind of terrace or garden, a little bit of garden. Um, or you can have an apartment, which we had. And we were on the second floor. Uh, there is a separate video I'm going to link up in the description where I have an uh, apartment tour and you can see exactly in detail. So we were on the kind of side here next to the baby pool. It was nice and quiet. I can't really complain about location at all. It was perfect. There were some stunning views all around the hotel and we were very lucky to have those beautiful greenery all around us and this is the corridor it seems like a maze but you can very quickly learn there are also elevators but we decided to use stairs because it's only second floor there is lots of little areas for children to play mini golf slides zip wire so lots of little entertainment for little ones the whole complex has this beautiful traditional Canary Island style, which looks very cohesive, very unified. And those stones you can see, they actually are from volcano and they are actually sticking out. When I first look at online on this hotel, I thought they were painted. <laughs> And um, it looks very authentic, um, beautiful. And when you see later the inside um, the restaurant and the kind of lounge area, that also has this traditional Canary Island look. There's lots of beautiful greenery, well looked after. Everything looks really fresh and inviting. There is also a little supermarket with all the essentials, so very nice and easy to grab if you need something. There are also two other supermarkets um, nearby. Here you can see the room where uh, there is a daycare during the day for children. And I love those little areas where everything just flows. You've got little corridors, little bridges and areas to sit. And there you can see we're going for breakfast. This is where we're going to be. There's like a main lobby and information on what's happening each day entertainment wise. There is a mini disco for kids every night, which Miles really enjoyed. He is 10 and he still enjoy that. So that's beautiful. And this is kind of uh, ground floor level. You have spa and I've been to spa actually and it was beautiful, really lovely treatment, great service. There's a hair salon. I know there is also laundry. There's a gym that uh, you can use. Not sure if you have to pay for laundry room, but gym is included. And this is the kind of courtyard where you can have breakfast. It's lovely because it's, it's in the shade in the morning. And this is the spa area, which I used. Um, I had a back treatment, back massage, and the um, therapist was lovely, and it was really relaxing. We were on half board, and our breakfast was included. There was a huge selection, and lots of um, kind of little stations with cold things, with cheese, meat, and sandwiches. There's loads of cereals, pancakes with different toppings, so children are very happy with that. As juice as well included, and coffee, drinks, etc. I love this area here. It's like a main courtyard and those thick trees, they are so beautiful. Very nice, lots of greenery and everything was cleaned every single day. I don't know if they did it in the evening or very early morning, but if you came down for breakfast, you could see everything was very looked after, very manicured, very clean. We haven't seen any 
anything dirty at all and this is the pool area and we were worried if there's going to be enough spaces because lately we've seen a lot of bad fame about uh, those lounges being snatched but there was nothing like that here uh, there was the opening time and no one was fighting there was plenty space there are three swimming pools anyway in there look at those beautiful palm trees there is also diving uh, school and also swimming school for children with a really friendly lady i did watch those kids being taught oh look at those monkeys here and every day we passed that mouse had to have a go on on there he also made a friend uh, so that was really sweet so here you can see the bungalows on each side they had a tiny bit of a garden there's also jacuzzi as for grown-ups here at the swimming pool we had lots of fun the pool was lovely and warm and they had lots of activities during the day like lots of inflatables and games it was really entertaining swimming pool and swimming pool area were very looked after and nice and clean and I can tell they were cleaning every night here you can see a little splash pool for little children and I never seen it busy and this is a quiet swimming pool which I preferred in the corner There is always something to do for children. There's a little football pitch, a zip wire, golf course, everything free to use. All the staff, everyone that works there were super friendly, really polite, really helpful. That it really makes a difference. And uh, there's a lovely family atmosphere all around. Also, I would like to just highlight how clean is everything. Everything's tidy and really pleasant to, to, be, to use, to be around. There are a few resident cats living in here and they have that little house. Sometimes you can see them. I know that one of them has nickname Dave. Uh, I'm not sure about another one's. And this is the spa area here on the right. We're just heading for breakfast again. And uh, for all those days, we've been there for a week and I have not been bored with breakfast. There's always something to, to choose, something new, something fresh. Everything was so yummy, really tasty, especially fruit and fresh fruit, fresh uh, vegetables, things like that. It is really lovely. And this is the area where the entertainment is in the evening. There is a photographer on site as well, which you can use, it's optional. There are little shops, like a little gift shops as well. Pardon, we were actually heading for dinner here. So you just need to give your details and you'll be sat down. It seems quite crowded at the moment, but once you sit down, you have your drink uh, ordered, you can go and choose your food. And let me tell you a little bit about food for dinner. It is really, really impressive. There are loads of choice, lots of stations, and every day of the week you have something new. Um, on one day we had massive paellas, the another day we had sushi and everything was a high quality the only downside was that you have to order drinks separately and pay extra for that i would at least expect a jug of uh, water and this is the other area of dining it reminds me a bit of a harry potter uh, dining area you can see my eclectic selection here but it was just fun to mix different type of food There was pizza as well every night and pasta, things like things that you can't go wrong with kids. If you have a fussy eating kid, that was a good, um, good option as well. And there was a whole station of desserts. There was loads of food. Food was constantly re reapplied. There was fish area. Lots of green, delicious things, salads. 
choices choices you can just go around and try different things you can create the whole plate of randomness and yummy desserts chocolate fountain Let me show you a little bit more eating areas and what you can find there. There are hot plates, hot areas and cold, freshly made station, soup, always hot soup and chocolate fountain. Not sure if it was on every night but yeah we were really spoiled. Our holiday included seven days pass to Siam Park, amazing place if you're in Tenerife, you have to visit that epic water park and there is a separate video on that so I'm going to link up in the description. There is a private group on Facebook and you can see the name here, it's really worth joining because sometimes People will leave you updates, you can ask any questions and in real time you can find out things. Also people are very kind to leave for a next family any kind of inflatable, any toys, anything like sun creams, things like that. They don't want to necessarily drag back home. Oh look who we found. The little rascals are out. So I wonder if that's Dave or if that's Dave's twin. Oh look, and another one. Right, let's take a look what's upstairs. There's a huge room here on the right, which is used for daycare. And here I'm just heading to nice little, nice big actually, bar area. There is a big TV, if you like sports, that's probably where sports going to play. And there's a main foyer right there. A little kids area again. It's very family oriented, the whole hotel. Anything you can think of, anything you need, they have, um, they have a resolution for you. Some people prefer to have that bungalow right by the pool. Um, so if you want and you don't mind a little bit of noise, that might be requested upon booking. There is also all-inclusive option and there are bars around the pools and you can order food or drink or if you're on full inclusive you obviously have access to food um, we've been on a half board so I can't really comment on that. And this is our favorite quiet pool on the side. There is also jacuzzi uh, just for grown-ups. The location is fantastic because you are only about 15 minutes walk to the seafront. So it's definitely worth having a little stroll. This is actually filmed a little bit further um, between Los Cristianos when we went on our long walk. But there are beautiful bars uh, just next to our hotel and beach and people had so much fun. It was nice watching them. So I definitely recommend having a little stroll. There's lots of shops on the way, lots of restaurants, loads to see. You can also hire a bike. Uh, just bear in mind it is quite a hilly area so it might be not so easy to be on a bicycle. And this is the front area this is where we were waiting if we were going on with a taxi taxis are nice and affordable 
that's the balcony of our apartment. There are a couple of shopping complexes right next to the, the hotel. This is just literally a few steps further, the Duke's shop, and it has a mixture of clothes shop, a little supermarket, downstairs, few restaurants, so, and it has a lovely air conditioning inside as well because let me tell you in a hotel that's definitely a downfall um, that's really not air conditioning they have some sort of air cir circulating system but it's not like cooling a lovely breeze if you wander down to the seaside from the hotel this bar is right by the sea and it's really nice the food was delicious the atmosphere was lovely service and we really enjoyed that outing you could feel cooling breeze from the sea I have to say I was very skeptical about the entertainment in the evening for children but finally we gave in and Mars had a great time. Uh, there was a, a mascot of the hotel which is called Goffy and he was leading here, you can see him on the scene. There were different songs and every night there was this song, it goes Bachi Bachi something something. Um, I might try to find it and link it up for you, but it's so catchy. You just learn this routine with your hands and we had so much fun doing that. Miles eventually learned that, he, he learned that really quickly actually. We struggle a little bit um, and yeah, it was really good fun. They, the other night they had this guy, comedian that was silent and he was like um, Charlie Chaplin and he was so good, so funny. I was just uh, enjoying watching Miles having fun the most and yeah, the, the entertainment's brilliant for children. Oh, you can see Charlie there, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> he was really funny. And here is Miles on the scene trying to hula hoop overall we had a really lovely time and we enjoyed this holiday um, the only minus thing was a lack of good aircon so I would say um, that could improve but anything else we were really impressed and you can see the apartment tour you can see another videos from Tenerife I'm going to link up in the description so if you've been to GF Isabel, let us know in the comments what was your rating, what was your feelings about the place and hopefully you'll find this uh, useful. Please subscribe uh, if you enjoy this content, if you find it useful. We do stuff about traveling, about family, about interesting things. Well, according to us, interesting. So if you would like to find out more, please subscribe and hopefully see you soon. Bye.